So, you be too, be Um, what it do be? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It is a blessing. Um, even if people don't respond, it's just a blessing. Um, that my story, my stories are being heard. I have a few more that I want to address before the end of this year to just get it out there because YouTube right now is my therapy and people that's been watching, subscribing has helped me actually tell my story and um, heal. So I thank God for those who have watched, um, listened, and commented, responded, and subscribed. I thank God for you guys. Um, <clears throat> it makes me feel um, a lot more, um, how do I say this, at ease um, to tell my story, even if it's crazy. But this particular video, I want to address something that I have noticed time and time again. Um, I just want to say to, to whomever has a disability, no matter what it is, um, and it doesn't matter what it is. You can be blind. Excuse me. Deaf. Paraplegic. Um, Kajra, I think it's called Kajra. I can't pronounce it. Whatever disability you may have, your disability doesn't define you as a human being. It doesn't define you as a person, doesn't define you as a woman, doesn't define you as a man, doesn't define you as a little girl, a little boy, nothing. It doesn't mean that you're less worthy. It doesn't mean that you're less capable, okay? It doesn't matter if you're not able to talk, walk, whatever the case may be. Having a disability doesn't define you as a per as less of a person, okay? Um, I wanted to clarify this. I understand. I understand. And this is for educational purposes. I just wanted to address this because I have seen this. And I have been through this myself. Um, people have said that I'm stupid, I'm slow, all types of things. Um, pretty much all my life. <clears throat> Those are the ones that usually don't even take the time to really, really get to know me. And I recorded this before, and I don't know what happened to it, but they really, really don't take the time to get to know me. They just make assumptions. Okay. So, it is what it is. You can think what you want, but you're going to find out later type thing. You feel me? Um, but I do, I do, I do, um, accept that I am different and I might have, you know, a disability, but that doesn't, that doesn't make me less of a part, um, an important person, you know, and that doesn't mean that I'm not able to control myself or take care of myself or whatever the case may be. Um, without God, I wouldn't be where I'm at. To be honest, you know, um, and Matthew had a disability. He was autistic, okay, but he was extremely smart. Um, Moses had a disability. Even though I, I don't, I don't one hundred percent believe in the Bible anymore. It's just that I notice that there is metaphors in the Bible, so. I'm not 100% against it. I just I just got upset that I was deceived. But um, I feel like it, it can be helpful in certain, act, you know, aspects. But you just got to take it with a grain of salt type thing. Moses had a disability. He stuttered. I used to stutter. I, I said that in one of my videos. I used to stutter. Sometimes I still do. Steve Harvey used to stutter really bad. <clears throat> and now look at him. Um, it's crazy. So, don't let nothing hold you back. Don't let other people hold you back. If you believe in yourself and you have faith in God and, um, you know that you can do it, just do it. Like, even if people say that you can't. I had a lot of people say I couldn't do something. 
especially my own mother. You can't do this. You can't do that. You're not capable of doing this. You're not capable of doing that. And I ended up doing it. You feel me? So there will be people that will set you back and hinder you. But <clears throat> I noticed that there are parents out there, not all, but I know it's not easy taking care of a child. Even a young teenager or an adult that has that is personally your child that has a disability is not easy. I condemn those who love their children unconditionally, who um because it can be expensive to take care of a child that has a disability. It's very time consuming. It's very nerve wracking because you worry all the time, and it's not an easy battle. Um. So I respect those who take very good care of their children that have a disability. And I'm not saying that this particular father doesn't do that. He's a very good father. It's just that I can tell that <clears throat> it's hard for him to accept that his son has a disability. Um, I can tell by the certain situations that he puts his son in to... It's like he's trying to, so hard to make him be something that he can't be. Like, I'm not saying that his son can't be, um, I'm not saying that his son can't achieve certain accomplishments when it comes to some type of, um, independence. What I'm trying to say is that he has to accept the fact that because of the fact that his spine is not functionable like his father's that he or anyone else that is able to walk and things like that and have better mobility, um, he can't do certain things that is he has to be realistic. I feel like his father sometimes is is not realistic. I think that he's too pushy on his his, his son and there's not no shade. But I just have to address things when I see it, you know. And the thing is, like, his son was sitting on the countertop, I mean, on the dresser, and he's like, oh, oh, you can get into your wheelchair. Come on, you got this. What, do you know any humans or young teenagers or young kids that would just sit on the dresser and try to get off of it like it's a normal thing? I don't think so. That's not a common thing to do. So why would you think that that would be good for your son to do? He's like, I'm afraid I might fall. He's like, no, you know, you're not going to fall. Come on, come on, come on. His son almost flipped over and fell on, literally on his head, okay? Thankfully, his father caught him, and it scared him, you know? And I can tell that, like, um, when things doesn't go the way that his father wants it to go, he feels like he disappointed his father. So, he's he gets upset, and then his father's like, it's all right, we'll try again next time. Are you freaking kidding me? You're putting your son in certain situations that can be hinderous and dangerous, not only to him, but to you. Because God forbid, what if something happened to your son? What if you didn't catch him? You know what I'm saying? It's not always guaranteed. It's not always promised. So, and I understand, it's hard to accept that your child might not ever walk. That's a hard thing to accept. But his son is a gift. Even though he has a disability. His son is intelligent. His son is handsome. Cute. I don't know how old he is. I think he's like seven or five or something. I don't know. But there's his family. They're called the Baxters, and his name is Byron Baxter. They are the example of how, like, you should treat your child that has a disability. They accept the fact that he has a disability, but they still encourage him to try to aim to get to where he wants to be to walk. But they accept it for, they accept that like, they don't get their hopes up, like, okay, like, you know. He's gonna walk. He's gonna walk tomorrow. You know what I'm trying to say? They, they. I can't explain it. It's like um, they accept it for what it is and what it's not. They love him regardless. So you know, um, I definitely they they definitely feel like Byron has changed their life and has been a blessing. And I agree because um, 
they blew up, you know, because of Byron's disability. Because when I first came across him, and I talk about him all the time, um, and I see this little baby talking, I'm like, how old is this baby? And um, so I learned so much, you know, he has, um, he, he's not capable of using certain parts of his muscles, but no matter how many surgeries or procedures he goes through, he's always smiling and, and, you know, he gets through it. It's like, he's such a strong, strong kid. And that's a blessing to see. Like, if he can smile through it all, when he's in pain and he breaks his bones, um, he has, I think they have another name for it. It's called, like, the brittle bone syndrome. And if he can do that, you know, then I know I can get through it too, you know? So I thank God for him. I've been following him for years. But the way that they, it's like, you know, I can't explain it. They, they they understand that he has special needs. So it's like, it's not like, I can't explain it. It's like, the, it's not like they, they try to baby him. It's that they try to, um, they show a lot of TLCs to him, you know? Because that's what he needs, you know, because of the fact that he has special needs. He needs to be cared for and <clears throat> treated at a certain level. But at the same time, they let him be a kid they let him be him. Um, they don't get upset that, you know, he can't walk. and But they still aim to, to get there, if that makes sense. So for his independence and for him to do things in, in his own way. His own way. That's how they say it. They do it he, they, he's doing it his own way, you know. So, hopefully, if... Anyone that's watching this, um, knows who this father is, can reach out to him and be like, listen, it's okay. It's okay. Like, your son is a gift. Like, your son is a blessing. You know? I know it's hard, man. I know it's hard to accept that he might not ever walk. But he's fine the way he is. You know? I'm not saying you're a bad father. And I'm not saying you don't love him. I know it hurts. But you're a good father. And I know you love him. But yeah, if you're if you're a person that has a disability, um, don't let it define you. You know, I was the type of person that I associated with whomever. I didn't like when I when when there was kids in my school that were different or disabled, I would associate with them because I seen their strength, their um, potential, and then everyone else would just make fun of them. And it's like you could learn so much from a disabled person. There's a lot of successful, famous, disabled people in this world that has created and, and, and invented a lot of things and have made many accomplishments. I follow um, Cole and Charisma, rolling with Cole and Charisma. I follow um, Tatum. Oh, my God. I can't believe I forgot his wife's name. I haven't seen their videos in a minute uh, i think i gotta put put on my post notifications but tatum i think that's how you pronounce his name no is it tatum or is it tucker tucker i forgot his name there's this um there's this this couple they're in, an interracial couple he is paraplegic oh no yeah i guess well his his legs have were amputated at a very young age um, he was born a certain way, but he can run, like, he's, he can run really fast, um, he's well known for that, for being a track star, his wife is, is a very good <laughs> runner and jumper, um, I don't know the name for the type of sport that she does, but they, they, they're both interracial couples, but they are incredible, I feel like Cole and Charisma should meet and do, like, a date with them, excuse me, I, um, Cole is a different situation. He was born able to walk, and unfortunately, he um, dived into water, hit his head on the rocks, and then ended up becoming paralyzed from the bottom, the waist down. Um, his hands don't work as well as they used to, but he still tries each and every day. His wife, um, she's a black woman, and... Um, she was with him, like, she was friends with him for, for a minute. I think they they became friends after 
his incident and they fell in love and they've been rocking ever since and um you know he doesn't i mean she doesn't like to really call herself a caregiver but you know they help each other you know she helps him he helps her um there's a lot of there's a lot of couples that i follow that um they have a disability because it's not i don't i, I see their strength with their disability and i learn a lot from them and it's a blessing it's a blessing to see that <clears throat> they're getting recognition and um they're living their they're living their best lives you know there's this beautiful couple i can't remember what kind of disability he has but his wife um she's gorgeous and he's he's a cutie um he can't he can't walk or anything and i don't i forgot how they met <clears throat> But she loves him, you know. She takes very good care of him. And she looks past his disability, you know. So, yeah. You just never know. I feel like we could all learn from each other. I honestly feel like there's people in this world that has disabilities because um, that helps us understand that not everyone's the same. Um, and it helps doctors, like, come up with these, like, cures and treatments and things like that because it can happen to anyone um so yeah so thank you for watching god bless and don't get discouraged whatever you're going through even if you don't have a disability don't get discouraged everybody goes through certain mental breakdowns and things like that we're human um you're not in this alone god got you and god bless you